What's up guys, this is Tony with Fun Intelligent Training. This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk to you about the different squat variations. We're going to cover the high bar squat, the low bar squat, and also front squatting. So we're going to start with the high bar squat, also known as the Olympic squat. So Jeff's going to place the bar up on top of his traps in the high bar position. Now with the high bar squat, he's going to finish at the bottom of the squat with his butt uh, as in between his ankles as, he, as it can be. So he's going to travel almost straight down. The knee travels forward quite a bit. The bar is still in line with uh, his, the heels of his feet and now he's going to drive straight up. So because the hips don't travel back at all, the knee must travel forward and he finishes in that very upright position. Now that's very important for people who train the Olympic lifts, the snatch and the clean, because there's a lot more carryover with that upright torso position. Hopefully you get it back in the rack and don't almost kill yourself like Jeff just did there. Uh, the high bar squat definitely recruits more from the quads than it does uh, the glutes and the hamstrings, although it's still a fairly full body movement. Now the breathing on the Olympic squat is usually a big breath in before any motion starts and holding it actually through the whole rep, although if you do have a hard time doing that, the breath can be released slowly as you come up. Next, Jeff is going to show you the low bar squat variation. Now with this variation, he's going to place the bar a little bit lower on his back so it goes over the rear delts. And the first thing Jeff's going to do is hip break and push his hips way back. Now as you can see, that gives him a much more vertical uh, angle of his shins and that's because the knees do not travel forward much at all. Now the reason he has much more uh, torso lean is because the bar must stay directly over those heels through the whole lift. So to keep his center of balance, the torso must lean forward. That squat variation is much more common in powerlifting. And reason being is powerlifting is a predominantly posterior chain uh, based uh, competition. You have a lot of heavy deadlifting and a lot of people use a sumo style deadlift in, um, in powerlifting and that has a lot of carryover into their, their squat. Powerlifters also tend to have a much wider squat than an Olympic lifter would. Now, uh, there isn't one that's necessarily better than another. It really just depends on the application. Again, if you were more interested in training with the classic lifts, the snatch and the clean, the high bar squat's gonna be more appropriate. If you are a power lifter, you might be able to get a little bit more out of your lifts if you go with the low bar position. Uh, either squat, you can play around with foot width. Uh, that's gonna be mostly lifter preference, although, however, some people are gonna have a hard time squatting to proper depth uh, with a more narrow foot position. With that said, uh, a really important thing is to try both and just see which was more comfortable for you. Next, we're gonna cover the front squat, and this is uh, an exercise that, again, is used a lot by Olympic weightlifters because this simulates the catch and recovery on a clean. So, Jeff is gonna place that bar in front of his head, Resting on the shoulders, the hands are just there uh, for guidance. And he's going to descend down, keeping that torso as erect as possible. Elbows stay up the whole time. Again, you can see the knee travels forward and he stands back up. Now the reason he wants to keep those elbows up, if he fails to do so, he could possibly hit his elbows on his knees, which would damage his wrists, or he could lose the lifts entirely. So those are the basic differences between the high and low bar squat and of course you got to see the front squat as well. There's a lot of detail that goes into each one of those lifts, a lot of technique, it takes a lot of practice. This video is not intended uh, to be the end all be all, this is just to show you the basic differences. And just as a review, the Olympic squat or high bar squat is going to place more stress on your knees. So that is something to consider when you're deciding which type of squatting to do. The low bar squat uh, is less stressful on the knees, but is more stressful on the hips, and some people do find it more stressful on the lower back as well. Uh, again, try both and see what is more pref preferable to you. The front squat is a great exercise because it builds a lot of core strength, 
It builds a lot of upper back strength, and again, it does recruit from the quads quite a bit, just like the high bar squat does. Whether you choose to front squat or not is really up to you. However, if you are interested in learning the classic lifts, the snatch and the clean, it is essential.